The Biosphere French La Biosphere de Montreal is a museum dedicated to the environment. It is located at Parc Jean Drapeau, on St. Helens Island in the former pavilion of the United States for the 1967 World Fair, Expo 67 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. The museum's geodesic dome was designed by Buckminster Fuller. History Topic Expo sixty seven The architect of this geodesic dome was Buckminster Fuller. The building originally formed an enclosed structure of steel and acrylic cells, 76 meters (249 feet) in diameter and 62 meters (203 feet) high. It is a class 1 icosahedral as differentiated from class 2 domes which are dodecahedral and class 3 ones which are tetrahedral 32 frequency double layer dome in which the inner and outer layers are connected by a latticework of struts There has occasionally been confusion in mistakenly referring to this as a 16 frequency dome due to the fact that there are 15 hexagonal polygons from each pentagonally polygonal vertex of this icosahedral polyhedron to the adjacent vertex. However, the standard for measuring dome frequency is the number of triangles from vertex to vertex. And since there are two triangles from one side to the opposite side of a hexagon, there are actually 30 triangles from the edge of each pentagonal vertex in this dome to the next, plus the triangle that comprises one-fifth of the pentagonal vertex at each end of the length from one vertex to the adjacent vertex, totaling 32 triangles from the center of each vertex to the center of the next vertex. A complex system of shades was used to control its internal temperature. The sun shading system was an attempt by the architect to reflect the same biological processes that the human body relies on to maintain its internal temperature. Fuller's original idea for the geodesic dome was to incorporate pores into the enclosed system, further likening it to the sensitivity of human skin, but the shading system failed to work properly and was eventually disabled. Architects from Golden Metic Productions designed the interior exhibition space. Visitors had access to four themed platforms divided into seven levels. The building included a 37 meter long escalator, the longest ever built at the time. The Minerail monorail ran through the pavilion. Topic: 1976 fire. In the afternoon of the 20th of May 1976, during structural renovations, a fire burned away the building's transparent acrylic bubble, but the hard steel truss structure remained. The site remained closed until 1990. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Biosphere Environment Museum. In August 1990, Environment Canada purchased the site for $17.5 million to turn it into an interactive museum showcasing and exploring the water ecosystems of the Great Lakes St. Lawrence River regions. The museum was inaugurated in 1995 as a water museum, and is a set of enclosed buildings designed by Eric Gauthier, inside the original steel skeleton. The biosphere changed its name in 2007 to become an environment museum. It offers interactive activities and presents exhibitions about the major environmental issues related to water, climate change, air, ecotechnologies and sustainable development. Topic: In popular culture 
the structure was used prominently in the original Battlestar Galactica television series episode, Greetings from Earth. Scenes for Robert Altman's post apocalyptic Ice Age film Quintet were shot on site as well. The biosphere appears in the 2003 animated Jacob 22 TV episode, Jacob 22 and the Notorious Knit Napper, in which it is used as the headquarters for a group of seniors who plan on knitting a giant tea cozy to cover Montreal. Topic. See also Voice of Fire Biosphere Thin shell structure List of thin shell structures